Tick Tock Tick Tock We've all heard the sound of a clock. Have you ever stopped to think about what it means? There are two fixed points in your life. Birth and death. And what happens in between, that's under your control. It's the only thing under your control. Now we have no idea what the distance between birth and death is going to be. And you've heard the story so many times. Somebody gets really bad news. They find out they've got life-threatening cancer. They've only got a few months to live. They quit their job, sell all their possessions and go volunteering in a far off country, giving back to other people, spending time with the people important to them and spending time doing the things that really matter the most. So why is it that we wait for such a massive moment for us to take massive action? What if you could change everything today? What if you could change everything in an instant right now, watching this video on YouTube, on your phone or your laptop or wherever you are? What if change could happen? I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Murphy's Law will be knocking at your door. Why? I don't know why. That's called life. And you have to deal with it. Sometimes your life will be in a slump. Just like sports. Some of the best shooters can't hit baskets different times in games. They get in a slump. Do they sit on the sideline and say, you know, I just did hit a basket today? No, they continue to execute. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy, work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Continue to move, stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. Repeat out to me, help somebody. And help yourself. Because what you give is what you get. Find somebody that you can help so you can forget about you for a moment. See, sometimes the best thing to do is to be. Sometimes you have to just back up and go within yourself. And I think there's a simple thing that you need that we hear again and again in these motivational speeches. And it's a simple word, but it's misunderstood. And it's belief. If you're going to really change, the first thing that you have to move from an opinion to a belief and a belief into a conviction is that you are the one that can change. You are the one that is responsible for who you are, where you are in life right now, the things that you do, the things that you don't do, that you know that you should, the things that you have become, the person that you've become, and as a result, the things that you have. And there's all kinds of things going on right now. There's all kinds of thoughts going on right now. There's all kinds of feeling, but amidst all of those things, amidst the sea of confusion that you might feel, let me ask you a very simple question, a very basic question. Do you believe that you have the power to change? Time is all we have. This moment, right now. There's only one thing in our lives that we're never able to reacquire once it's gone. And I'm not talking about money, I'm not talking about material items, I'm talking about time. And it's such a unique concept, unique idea, because when utilized correctly, it contains the ingredients to success, to happiness, to growth, prosperity, all the things we want. But at the very same time, if neglected, it leaves us with very little. Because the truth is, every morning when you wake up, you are living minutes you will never get back. 
You are breathing air you will never take in again. It is your one opportunity to embrace this gift. And every second sees a little of it slip away. And my point is that there is no moment more important, more perfect than right now. Not in a week, not after your promotion, not in 30 years when you plan to retire and relax. Right now. See, we have this mentality that the future is going to somehow mean more than the present. That if we suffer now, or if we're unhappy now, that we'll save the best in life for some other time. But the reality is, we don't get younger. Yes, we should be working hard. Absolutely, success comes from effort, hard work, dedication, persistence. But the key is, allocate your precious time to the work, to the things that make you feel like today is powerful. That right now is so amazing you don't want it to end. Today is when you take the first step towards the things you want when you become who you want to become. No one is ever or will ever keep you from that other than yourself. There is no ceiling, there is no limitation, there is no special requirement. There is you and what you allow yourself to accomplish. You are the gatekeeper, you have your foot on the gas pedal. And it's so easy to point to others, right? To point to our environment, to blame things on everything. But our own decision, our decision to stick to the status quo. Because believe it or not, it is that simple. You are where you are because that's where you've decided to be. And you've accepted that as okay. Look, if you want change, then manufacture change. Create a plan and move. Go. Transform. Step out of your head and into the real world. Think about how lucky we are. To be alive in this day and age with access to all the information we could ever dream of, technology that enables growth, freedom to pursue any path that looks appealing, anything we could ever want is right in front of us, yet we don't embrace it. Why? Why in the world would we let that be? Nothing is more important in life than living it. Nothing makes us feel more energized, more free, more happy than following the path we were meant to take. It's having the courage to step over the obstacles, to face the challenges, to be uncomfortable. And at the beginning, it's tough, right? Change is tough. Getting what you want isn't easy. There's a period of struggle, of growth, but once you get through it, you understand what living really is. Which brings us right back to the concept of time, our small existence on this planet, the greatest gift a human being can receive. You, by default, have it. Don't ever let it be in vain. The future isn't when happiness someday occurs. It's a continuation of you living every moment to the fullest, from now until your last. Make every trip around the sun better than the previous. Never let a moment of sunshine, clouds, or rain deprive you of your gift. Be the best version of yourself you can be. Live the life you were meant to live. All it takes is a simple decision. So when you imagine the change that you want to create in your life, the person that you know you want to be, that you should be, based on the resources and ideas that you have. What is stopping you? What's stopping you from waking up early? What's stopping you from creating good habits? What's stopping you from cutting people out of your life that you know no longer serve you? That clock, it's always ticking. And one day, it won't. You'll be met with silence. And this journey, it will end. And at that moment, when people look at your gravestone, when they come to your funeral, what is it that you want them to remember you for? What kind of impact and legacy do you want to leave behind 
through the lesson that is your life? And are you really living that lesson every single day? Stop waiting for tomorrow. Stop waiting for the perfect moment. And start now. Start believing. Start dreaming. And create the life and the person that you really want to see. Because like I said at the beginning, tick tock. Tick tock.